Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. So it has been about a week, sorry about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been busy actually doing stuff in my house, mainly my bedroom. So I thought that I would wait to vlog until I could show you some house updates. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my bedroom. Um, it's not completely done, obviously, but I've done two big things in the bedroom that will actually show you how much it's made like a difference. Um, one of the main things that I've wanted to do in my bedroom, you all know what that is. So um, that will be my wardrobe. But now I'm gonna quickly show you part of my bedroom. So this is house update or bedroom update number one. So this is my bed and this is the new bedding that I got. So if you remember me asking in a cleaning video, let me move over here so you can see better. If you remember me asking you in a cleaning video what bedding I can get to make it look more luxurious, well, somebody did mention the company Dusk and I already seen Dusk on Instagram and I thought, I, always, I did actually already think, should I get it? But when someone recommended it again, I thought I've got to get it. So I got the bedspread here which by the way doesn't iron very well. <laughs> um, and then I've got the three cushions, they're feather cushions so I could do the cry chop. The cry chops are not exactly the most neatest cry chops but they'll do. And um, the cushion covers and then the two big cushions at the back. And yeah, that's what I got. So I will link below um, the company that I got it from so um, in case you were interested. But what I did like about this was that you can flip it so the this, can go to grey or white. I like the white because I think white just looks clean and nice. And then the same with the cushions, you can do that. It's not the same thing on the back though, but if you wanted to maybe do a grey cushion or two grey cushions and a white, a white, blah, 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 then you could do that. But yeah, I'm loving the way that my bed is looking now, although this here needs to be neatened up, but never mind. Um, so yeah, loving the way my bed looks now. Um, it looks finally complete. Um, plans for what I'm going to be doing over this area, it's not finished yet. So here, so let me actually let me go back to where I keep moving, I'm sorry. Um, so beside the bed, I'm going to, I'm thinking, I'm going to get new bedside tables for starters and I think I'm going to get them a little bit lower than those ones and I also want, also want them to be like drawers or whatever all the way down rather than a gap like that because that really annoys me. Um, and then I want to get maybe even mirrors here and something here or like prints or something or prints and then a mirrory thing here. Um, so I will obviously update you once I do it. But the prints that I'm thinking of doing whichever way, I might be doing myself. So it might be a little bit of a DIY. So if I don't do it in this room, I will be doing it in another room. So I will be doing that DIY soon, so stay tuned. But yeah, at the moment I'm thinking of doing mirrored, mirrored, and it just make it look a little bit more glamorous. But yeah, so that's my bed in. Um, I will link it all below. I'll also link the bed below because I know that I have a lot of questions on this bed and um, where I got it from. So um, I will tell you where I got it from. I got it from Furniture 123. But also I will link it in case you don't know. I'll link the exact bed in case you don't know which bed it is. Um, it was really, really affordable. And also it is an Ottoman bed. So great for storage. I have a lack of storage in this house. So it was really important that I got that. So I can hide all my junk under there basically. Um, and I also want to get some really nice lamps. So as soon as I get the new bedside tables, I want to get the really nice lamps and all of that. And then that will finish this area off. And I also want to get a radiator cover for here. And some curtains for here just to drape open and I'm not sure if I want to get voils or if I would like to keep it light and area I may do or if I want to get grey I'm not sure yet let you know how that goes look you can see my bed in the background so obviously um so basically if you notice normally you don't ever see me this far into my bedroom but that's, but that's just because you've got and um, there's a new wardrobe here so now I've got a lot more space in my bedroom because obviously I had that row and the drawers and it just was like a junk yard there if I can get a clip of that I think I did get a clip of before and then I'll insert that and then insert the new wardrobe so you can see the difference um but I'm gonna say now I'm so happy with this wardrobe it's ridiculous um 
but yeah I'm going to show you it now and then I'm going to start filling it up um, with the rest of the stuff like completing the organization of it so I'll do that and then I might and then once because I've got loads of clothes on the floor so then once I get rid of those clothes and everything there is still some junk in the corner here I mean you can see my dressing down there as well which is really annoying but basically once I get rid of all of this I'll give you kind of more of a tourish thing of where like tourish is that even a word I'll give you more of a little mini tour of what it's looking like now and then you'll see in the future when I add accessories, bedside tables, etc. what it will look in the end. So yeah, let's get filling up this wardrobe. So this is my new wardrobe. So really, really happy with the space this has allowed us to have, not only for storing clothes, but actually for the rest of the room. So it, it, please ignore that. That is literally the stuff that is the final bits that needs to go out of this room. But for now, this has been, honestly, look how amazing that looks. And what we plan to do is to build something here and here and down there to make it look built in so you don't see the gaps. But um, the gaps don't really bother me anyway, to be honest, because they don't look too severe. Um, not that you know because it could have been worse but I got this from Ikea it's the Ikea Pax corner wardrobe I think I'm going to show you in a minute because what I done was I actually made this on the website and then ordered it so I customized it before I ordered it for delivery so I'll show you the little thing that I done on Ikea if you don't already know how to do that because a lot of people I know don't know how to do that so I think I'll just show you anyway um, but yeah really happy with what it's done for this space if you will remember I was worried about this window so the big problem with this bit was actually the window if I never had a window there I could have done so much more with this little bit but I wanted to keep the window like showing I didn't want to hide it or block it or anything like that so I'm really happy because this wardrobe it actually made it so much like I can't explain it like I thought it would hide I thought even this wardrobe would hide this more but it hasn't so it's really um, really made me happy because it's bringing in so much more light in this room now um so that's the window there and what we did here is this corner wardrobe in particular is a slimmer deck on this side that's why it worked very well with this because if it come out more it would cover the window which we didn't want and then obviously we have the thicker depth here, which is the main part of the storage. So went for the panel type of doors just because I think they look so classic and um, also and elegant and stuff like that. And also, we haven't put the handles on yet because we had a bit of an issue um, because I got the really nice ones, but they require two holes. And you know what? It took us... Do you know how long it took us to do this wardrobe? It took us three days to do this wardrobe because we had to build it standing up because we got it the really tall ones and you couldn't lay it down and then bring it up. So we had to do it standing up. So it took us three days. And in the end, the handles was just too much for us. It just caused too much of a problem. And I was a bit nervous in case we'd done it wrong and there was holes in here and all of that. And so we didn't. So we got to still put handles on there. But basically, we open it like so i have already started filling this wardrobe i'm going to fill it up in a minute with the rest of the stuff because i still have more clothes um but yeah so in here we've got the shelf up the top which is basically going to be things that we don't have to ha we don't need to have all the time um and that will go up there which i don't know what that is yet maybe bags and stuff then down here we've got jonathan's clothes and then coming down this is my row and i've tried to color coordinate that too and then over on this side, this is the side that you always get four free shelves anyway, but we've got four shelves like with just like that. Um, I'm reorganizing this because I've I've absolutely just done that wrong. I don't want it like that. I want it better than that. And then at the moment, you know, you've just got a bit of hair in there, like as you do. Um, but I might put the hair dryer in that in here because that just seems like a good little home for it. Any hair care stuff and things like that in there. And then I've just got my pajamas. I'm putting my pajamas in there, underwear, underwear. And then here. Obviously, because of this, um, we couldn't actually put the um, another, another drawer there um, because it kept, every time I was designing it, it kept saying, nope, you're going to have a drawer there, so you can't have the drawer. But I think we could still put this at the bottom, and this was actually, I think, meant to be at the bottom, but I think I might get another one of those and try and put that there, and then that will just complete it there. 
If not, it doesn't matter, but I think it would just look nice if we and just gives us more storage for like drawers and stuff. So that is what it's looking like inside. And that's how the doors open. So this one opens quite wide, obviously, so you can get into it. And yeah, it's really, really nice. So I'm really happy with that. So now I'm just going to go and head and fill these bits here and maybe reorganize this, get rid of the rest of the clothes that are on the floor, and then I'll be happy. And then I also want to get some lights in here as well, because then, because for example, like, well, basically at night time, you know, when you open the, the wardrobes, it's nice to have light that just senses on. Um, so I think I'm going to go, get those for this as well. But yeah, happy so far. So let's go ahead and fill it more. going to give you a little quick tour again i've just finished put, doing the wardrobe so i'll show you the little bit of organization i've done um so basically what i want to show you so basically what i want to show you is as you come in our door here this is where our bed is and then you come through ignore the telly down there in the mirror you come through and there's so much more space do you not remember it used to be like there everything was there and in fact it was further so what I plan to do is have maybe, I'm not sure yet, a big stand-up mirror here. And then, you know, I can get dressed, see what I look like, blah, blah, blah. So that's my plan for this. And then as you come in, as you can see, there is the wardrobe and the window. And then that is where the wardrobe is. And can we also just appreciate for five minutes the uh, hoover lines, um, carpet lines I've done. <laughs> I've never done them before. But yeah, anyway. Um, so obviously we've just seen the inside of the wardrobe, but I'll show you again. It now all complete with all the clothes in. So I haven't done it the best. I mean, it's going to get messy because of the way I've done it. It doesn't make sense. However, I wanted to just quickly get it all in and then maybe get some boxes and do the picking thing. You know, when I roll it up and do it like that, we'll see how we go. Cause obviously this is our wardrobe. Um, so I filled everything. That's the extra hangers that I've got. So everything is in there and it fits so much in there to be fair um, and I've probably got things in there that are actually for more winter that really needs to go under the ottoman but we'll see how we go with that as well but I just thought I'd put them all in there for now. So yeah and from this angle obviously you've just seen it again but I just wanted to give you a really good look at what we're looking at and obviously I can stand so far back in my room because of the wardrobe. Okay, so, so I yeah. thought I'd show you on the IKEA website exactly what I'd done um, when I ordered this um, corner wardrobe. So basically, if you go down, like, open planner. So I opened the planner, and then you wait. Okay, so when you go onto the packs planner, like I just showed you, um, obviously, like, I even changed the paint colour to my colour because then I know exactly what it's going to look like, <laughs> um, and the floor. Uh, so I did that first, and then what I did, so yeah, basically I added in three drawers, a basket, and the shelves. The shelves do come three, so don't add any more than, well, not don't add any more, but just they come three, so even if you add them, they come within the same price, so then you're not adding any more price. That shelf costs more money because it wasn't in the price. But yeah, you can basically just do it all the way around to the way you wanted, uh, the way you want your interior bit. Uh, bearing in mind that if you're going to have doors, if you ever that open, then you can have more drawers, but um, like all the way to the floor. But because I was having doors, the hinges were getting in the way. So I chose my doors and it was the Grimo, Grimo, whatever you want to call it. And I did the doors like that. And then on this one, I did the same door. So I'm just quickly showing you roughly what I did to make sure that I've got everything right. And there you go. You can do things like change the depth and all of that on there um, and height. So if we change the height, 
there you go that makes it bigger oh done it again <laughs> so if you change the height um that you'll see the with it being tall this will open the doors for you so you can see what your design looks like obviously you're going to have a lot more in there but i'm just really quickly showing you and you also won't have this all the way down there you can have that up there but i'm thinking because the doors the way the doors went was going on it tells you basically where you can have a shelf but you can definitely have a shelf in here so that's how you see it and obviously you see the depth here and the depth there and everything else so yeah that is how i organized and planned my wardrobe and i also did add originally one of these onto it so this is how i originally wanted it so i was originally going to have it like this um and maybe put that one as a smaller depth and things like that. And then I was going to have a long hanging rail out here, which I could still do. But the issue I've got is that the space that I'm dealing with here, this is like a couple of centimetres out. So I didn't want to basically walk into my bedroom door and see it hanging off of the wall um, too much. And it would look ugly. So, And because of the situation we're all in at the moment, returns are not easy. And I didn't really want to have that hanging around my house. So I thought if I just start with the corner, which is a good base... So if you want to do the same, if you're working with a tight space, then start with the corner and then work your way out, basically. You can add that another at a later date. Um, but also, um, if you are planning to just, if you want to know if all the measurements are going to go and all of the things, how much storage you're going to get out of this system, I would highly recommend going onto the IKEA website, clicking onto the wardrobe, that you're, the PAX wardrobe, and doing the planner. And it just, it brings it to life without actually going to the shop. So it is really, really handy. So yeah, I hope that helps. I'm absolutely loving, by the way, coming to this part of my room and be able to see my bed in the background because obviously it's so much more space. I love it. So um, I hope that that did help. I hope that um, seeing me going on the computer, for example, and showing you what I did to plan the wardrobe just to make sure I got it right. Because obviously at the moment, we can't really go in the store. Um, it's all a bit crazy so that was just my saving grace it took me so long to pick a wardrobe and I measured everything within an inch of its life to make sure it fit and fit nicely and I'm so happy with how it's turned out so I'm really happy with that um but yeah I hope that that helps you if you have any questions leave in the comments if you're thinking about getting a PAX a Nike a PAX wardrobe and you want to know any more questions I will answer them if you uh, leave a comment below or follow me on my Instagram, which I'm going to put down here somewhere. And you can private message me and I will get you back to you straight away. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this little video. It was just basically a little bedroom house updates type of video. Um, and I know it was crested a lot on my channel. And um, so a lot of people have been messaging me asking me to do this type of video um, to give updates on my actual house and stuff like that. And this week I was doing stuff to my bedroom. So that is what it is so there'll be a lot more house to updates coming up um as i go through each room and this room is no by no by far not finished this has got so much more to be added to it but i'm happy with the way it's turning out so far i hope that you like it and i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you are new and i'm going to see you in my next video bye